pre-stretch system on this machine is designed to stretch the film out inside the carriage and apply it to the load. If the carriage is not properly feeding out film, it will be difficult to pull out and will likely tear once the cycle is started. Raise the carriage up manually to a convenient height. If the film is not routed properly, the machine will not feed it out when pulled. Route the film in front of the first roller, over the black pre-stretch rollers, and behind the final roller. This machine is equipped with a kill switch that will not allow the film to feed if the door is open. Ensure that this switch is mounted in this location and has not been bumped out of position. Although it may appear to be engaged by the door, it is possible that the door is not hitting the switch. To test if the door switch is operational, open the film door and engage the switch with your left hand. Then you can pull gently on this roller. If the motor spins the rollers, then it is likely that the switch has been bumped slightly out of position. If the switch is just slightly out of position, you can nudge it by hand so the connection is made. If the film is very hard to pull, but feeds out occasionally, the trigger roller could be loose. The roller should have very little movement front to back. If the roller is loose, it is likely the coupling that attaches the roller at the top. Simply tighten the two set screws to fix. If there is still movement on the roller, or the film is very hard to pull, it may be necessary to inspect the sensor that detects the film force. Rarely, the connecting linkage between the roller and sensor can be loose. Tighten this connection, ensuring roller is centered in the cutout. Check to make sure the pre-stretch inverter has power. It is on the back of the film carriage and should power up on initial reset. If there is no power to the inverter, it is possible that the connection is loose. Remove the four screws attaching the control panel. Flip the panel over and attach for easy access. Ensure this connector, labeled J11, is fully seated in the terminal. If you are still experiencing difficulty, please contact your dealer.